What's up, beauties and handsome? Today we are going to be making spaghetti with two different types of noodles, broccoli and garlic knots. Listen, you cannot forget the garlic knots. Bread is key. So then we have the seasonings, the all-purpose, the Italian, the parsley, the black pepper, the crushed red pepper, the onion powder, the garlic powder, and the pink salt. You see it. Let's get into it. So I like to start off rinsing off my fresh produce. In this case, it's the broccoli and the bell peppers. Sometimes the broccoli can have like little black things in between them. So I like to get in between those florets really, really good to make sure they're clean. For my bell peppers, there's never really anything up there, but because of where they've been, I like to rinse them off. And then I like to pat them dry because I don't know about you, they already water-based. I don't need any extra water. <laughs> I don't need no extra water, okay? The water that comes with the bell peppers already is good. So for my onions, I am going to chop them finely because while I want that oniony taste that we all love, or most of us love, I don't want to be biting into big chunks of onions when it comes to my spaghetti. And to each his own, you know, if that's your preference, then do you. But as for me, I am going to chop them up very, very finely so when I saute them and mix them in that sauce, you know, it's blending in real well. Gotta get the olive oil for sauteing. Uh, I don't know what everybody else uses, but I love using some olive oil to saute uh, my peppers, my onions, my garlic, my uh, mushrooms as I get to it. And don't judge me for how I'm cutting my bell peppers because I'm not sure what the correct way is to cut them up. But this is what works for me without getting the seeds everywhere because <laughs> I don't need to clean up any extra mess outside of the mess I'm already making when I cook. Okay. So sidebar. Why am I showing y'all what I'm cooking? I am showing y'all because for these past, let's say two years, I have been going crazy with the food, with the alcohol, uh, what else? Food, alcohol, and like being real lenient with my workouts. It wasn't until recently that I've really gotten back on my fitness journey intentionally. But I can tell, like, just in the last month of being very, very intentional, a big difference of monitoring the alcohol intake, cooking more often than I'm eating out, and making sure I am on a workout schedule. Just in this short period of time, like, I have come such a long way. And I want to share that with y'all because I like to be as transparent as possible with y'all when it comes to my fitness journey. Like, it's not all cupcakes and rainbows. <laughs> it's not always fun. It's not always on track. Like, sometimes I get off track because <laughs> I love food, okay? Food is my best friend. I will eat when I am sad. I will eat when I'm happy. I will eat when I'm upset. I will eat when I'm excited. Like... <laughs> Any emotion, whether it's good or bad, I will eat because food is great, okay? Food is amazing. So I will eat. And I am trying to, or not trying, I am making little efforts every day to get back to a place where I am being more intentional with what I am consuming and what I'm giving my time to. Because your body shows you what you're doing. Your body shows you how you are treating yourself. And listen, I'm just trying to do better. This machine right here is the sh okay, cause okay, this machine right here is everything. Where did I get it from? Target. I used to chop all this stuff up myself, but ever since this machine, this machine here is worked wonders in my life. Good wonders. <laughs> as I am browning the meat, I am going to go ahead and season it as well. So as you see me seasoning this, <laughs> you probably thinking like, Amherst, that's not enough for the amount of meat. So this is two pounds of meat while you're sprinkling it like that, like you're sprinkling it over a plate. <laughs> so over time, I've learned that it is better for me to under season than to over season because at least I can go back and add more rather than have to figure out how I'm going to dilute it because I added too much. 
So I like to just do a little bit at first and then go back in. So I am boiling my noodles. I already put the water on as you can see. So I told y'all I'm making two types of noodles. So these are the regular noodles. I use these for the family. So Shanae, my husband, and my mother-in-law, they all eat those noodles. As for me, I am going to eat the black bean noodles because I am trying, or black soybean noodles, because it's something about them noodles. Like I said, I told y'all I like to eat. So with the black soybean noodles, I can eat a, a decent amount and still not feel uh, bloated after I eat them. Whereas if I eat the regular spaghetti noodles, the amount that I want, <laughs> I am going to feel bloated and essentially overeat. So these black soybean, soybean noodles keep me in check so that I can still enjoy my spaghetti without all the added calories. Now, I will say it does not taste the same. <laughs> I can sit here and lie to you and tell you that, you know, there ain't no big difference. It is. <laughs> it's a big difference. However, once the spaghetti uh, meat and sauce is on top and I sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese on it, I'm good. So I forgot <laughs> to show the dog on sauce in the beginning but yeah the sauce is in there too i did two different types uh just to be extra honestly because i don't really think it mattered but i wanted to taste two different flavors so i put two in there and i'm kind of mad at myself a little bit because i did not drain the the meat before i added the sauce so that the sauce really clung to the meat but in not doing so, I ended up having to add some tomato sauce and some tomato paste because I let my husband taste it to see, you know, if it was good or not. And he was like, yeah, add a little bit more. So once the noodles finished boiling, I drain them and then I add olive oil, salt, pepper, and parsley. And I might do that a few times as I taste it because I like to season my noodles. I don't know about everybody else, but salt is not enough. And I don't want to have to heavily salt my stuff for it to taste good. So I like to incorporate other seasonings as well. And sometimes I do garlic powder, but I figured because I already uh, am using garlic powder in the, the meat sauce, Okay, I'm talking junk. Here I am putting garlic powder in there. Okay, <laughs> never mind. So garlic powder in there too. So salt, pepper, garlic powder, butter, and olive oil. And I mix it all together. So you won't see me doing the regular noodles like that, but I do the same thing to both so that they are tasting good. And I do a taste test because, yeah, I got to make sure my noodles are good. So again, like I said, I did the same thing to these regular noodles and I'm just mixing it around, make sure it's all in there really good. Make sure the flavor is all up in there so that while it's sitting, you know, I'm indulging all the flavors together. So for my broccoli, I've already patted it dry because I done told y'all I don't like that watery stuff. And then it's a lot easier for the um, olive oil and the seasonings to marinate on this when they are more dry than they are wet. So because the florets can get kind of big, I like to cut the florets off and then cut them in half to make sure that everything gets uh, evenly heated. And then I season these with uh, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and you'll see it as I do it, but I'm just telling you what I'm beforehand. And I think that's it. Sometimes I do crushed red peppers, but I didn't do that today because sometimes Shawnee be acting funny. I ain't even gonna hold you. She be acting funny about stuff. One day she be loving stuff, the next day she doesn't. I just pray for me, y'all. <laughs> pray for me. So I only cooked uh, two of the heads of broccoli because you wanna make sure they are spaced out. So as you can see, I have spaced them out on the pan only because if they are too close together they won't it'll take too long for them to cook so you want them to be spaced out so that they cook evenly 
and it doesn't take forever and you won't have the roasted effect if they, you know, if they cook too long. So like I told you all earlier, the salt, the pepper, the garlic powder, I mix it on up in the olive oil so that they stick. That's what the olive oil is for, so that the foods, not the food, the seasoning sticks to the food. And I mix it up really, really good. And then I spread it back out so that it's evenly spread out on the pans for when I put them in the oven. This is my favorite part, honestly. Like mixing them up, cause I just know something in my spirit just tells me like, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> this is gonna be some great broccoli here. This is made with love and care and patience. Even though it wasn't really patient y'all, I. I tried to record this for y'all when I was about to go to my classes and it took a lot longer than I thought. But yeah, so I'm putting them in the oven and then I set the oven to 425 for about 10, 15 minutes before I uh, flip them or stir them up and then put them back in. So here you see, like I said, I go back in. I put some sugar in there because it was tasting real uh, acidic I think that's how you say it acidic and um yeah I just put a little bit of sugar it's not a lot but just a little something to take the edge off you know so I don't be having heartburn I know it's a whole debate about the whole sugar thing but yeah I like sugar in my spaghetti just not a lot so I am Again, adding the tomato sauce and the tomato paste to so kind of thicken it up a little bit to make it a little bit more tomato-y, which kind of defeated the purpose of the sugar. Listen, I did not use Google this time. <laughs> I have no problem, no shame in my game saying that I am a Googler. <laughs> when it comes to recipes that I want to cook, I will look something up online very, very quickly so that I know the food going to be good. Or at least I have an idea of the type of food I'm going to make paired with the knowledge that I have from the recipes that I made in the past and like blending those together to make a bomb meal. Um, <laughs> so this is the first time I have made a whole meal without using Google and I'm proud, but at the same time, very, very nervous. <laughs> very nervous because I don't know what's about to happen. So that's the broccoli when it's done. You see it, I like a little burnt on it. Okay. I really love the broccoli mm -hmm. and a little sort of good and this one's not good. You don't like the bread? Why? Wow, what's wrong with it? It's all, it's all because of everything. It tastes bad and it tastes like I don't like the seeds on there. Okay. And you said the spaghetti is just okay? All right, is it because you're scared because you choked? Uh-huh, so I only like is this the noodles, but not the sauce. You don't like the sauce? Okay. All right, thank you for your honest review. Bye. So very quickly before I go, I forgot to record me baking the bread, but if you can read instructions, you got it. The spaghetti, I will give it a B plus. With no instructions, I did a pretty decent job. So I gave it a B plus. The broccoli, listen, I never go wrong with my broccoli. My broccoli is always on point do you hear me something about that broccoli with the spaghetti together was great that concoction was amazing it was so good together and then i found a piece of hair y'all i almost got mad then i realized it was my hair for my wigs so i had to mind my business <laughs> the bread was great the texture was good i feel like i should have put some butter or something on it but i'm trying to do better so i left it alone Overall, I will give this a B plus. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.